what is the risk there with the rebates that Amazon is going to think that you're doing something for reviews or? So there's, there's nothing wrong with the rebate as long as you're not saying, you know, maybe on the immediate page afterwards, you know, have you claimed your rebate? And they're like, uh, and you have the button that says, yes, send me my rebate. And when they click it, it says show proof that you left a review. So, so now you're in, mm -hmm. you're in foul territory. Um, like you're not allowed now you're getting into incentivizing reviews, no matter how fancy your copywriting skills are like that's, that's where you've sort of left yourself at. Now, if you've, I find very valuable to, to maybe if you did want to tie the rebate to something, which by the way, if you do just give the rebate, the likelihood that they do leave a positive review is significantly higher and you can now follow up with them off Amazon checking in to see whether they've left that review. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, so the, I, I, the goal of the, the rebate then, what you're talking about <laughs> is using that as like bait to get their information, get them to register and give you all of their info. Yeah. And, and, and to wow them for whatever experience you, you do want. It, it could be to short circuit a negative review or I'm sorry, short stop a negative review. Mm -hmm. It could be to get positive reviews. At the end of the day, we're humans and this law of reciprocity exists. If you got a rebate from me, the, the percentage of people that do naturally convert into a positive review when they're given an easy opportunity to do it are much higher. Okay. You don't need to go out and ask and tie it, but we've tested this. It's just significantly higher. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the, the other one is just, you get to sell to the people now. So when they have the app, you know, we talk about emails. Amazing. I love email. Um, we talk about how powerful SMS is and, and in the right circumstances, I think it is. But when someone has your app on their phone, you're now allowed to send push notifications. So when you have a new product that's out, you could send a push notification, a reminder to do blank, um, PR that your company has going on. So again, all, all those other ones to me are secondary, but they're still major ones. You save money you know, getting the no more needing to invest in all these like crazy fancy insert cards that really just are measured by what's not as bad as the next one. But no mm -hmm. one's like saying this one is just amazing. Right. If it's white hat um, and you, you get to get your customers, anyone that goes on your app, you now have them, you can get them in your CRM, you get access to send them push notifications, SMS, anything you want. And and it's a better customer experience and you get more profits. So that's a huge list of things that are amazing. 